Well, good afternoon, Report TV fans. Welcome to the World's Championship Horse Show's Friday afternoon session. Changing it up a little bit with World's Champion Equestrian and founder and CEO of Nightwatch and Protequist, Jeffrey Schaub. Jeffrey, we've seen Nightwatch on the Jumbotron. We've seen it on the sideboards, on the back of the program. What is Nightwatch? Well, thank you, Tuffy. Nightwatch is a horse monitor. It monitors the animal's vital signs and behaviors and will alert you at the first signs of distress. Now, where did this idea come from? I mean, it's the world's first smart halter. We see that on all the ads. Where did this idea come from? Well, unfortunately, this is a labor of love. About two years ago, actually this week, uh, Waste Pleasure Horse passed in the middle of the night, and it was the first of a series of catalysts to say, we can be doing better for these animals. We love these animals, we do all the right things right, but the reality is we can't always be there. And this is designed to be there and to be our eyes and ears overnight in a trailer or in a large pasture where you can't be. Well, you say it's there to be there, you know, to, to monitor. Well, how does it do that? So within the crown of this standard halter, which is being designed by Freedmans, are a variety of sensors. It monitors animals' heart rate, respiratory rate, as well as behavioral patterns. And when the smart technology determines distress, it'll send a wireless alert to your mobile device and um, alert you for early intervention. So it gets in touch with you, so you know there's something going wrong back in the barn. The genesis of this, obviously, you know, the, the labor of love that you talked about. What was the process like of putting this together? I mean, from the initiation of the idea to today where we're, you know, we're ready to, to kind of roll this thing out soon. Honestly, it's been stressful. Uh, <laughs> every day we're running on the foundation that we're building, but I've been fortunate to get in touch with the right people. Uh, we sponsored a research grant with Rochester Institute of Technology who did a lot of the early analytical works with the algorithms. Um, been working with Haggard Equine Medical Institute in Lexington for the clinical advice and guidance and they will be one of our beta test sites later this year. Um, as well as with David Friedman and his group to help uh, bring this technology into a form that is non-invasive and comfortable for everyone. Now, obviously it's a commercial venture, but what is your real goal with this? I mean, is it, is it the well-being of the horse? What, what is kind of you know, the, the basis of this and, and your goal with this product? Well, my real goal is hopefully to actually impact survival of these animals. Um, as you may know, even today, more than 100 horses will die from colic. And my big question is, how many of them can we save through earlier intervention, um, knowing that most of these animals have to fend for themselves overnight? So the real goal of this is to save these animals and to bring peace of mind to the owners so they don't have to experience what Wade and I did two years ago. You talk about alerting the, you know, alerting the end user uh, you know, of, of a problem in the barn. How does that work? What is the kind of user experience for, for somebody that has this product? Yeah. Well, like a lot of the wearable devices today, there will be an application for your smartphone. So whether you're on an Apple iPhone or an Android device, you'll be able, at the click of a button, to see the status of your animal. You'll also be able to log on to a website and share that information with your veterinarian, with your trainers, mm -hmm. um, so that you can all make a better decision based on the insight it's providing. Now, what is the future holding for, for Nightwatch? Um, 2016 rollout, we see. What, what comes after that? Yeah, so we're presently planning for uh, pre-order sales by the end of this year with distribution in the U.S. and Canada the first half of next year. Uh, we have a very robust R&D pipeline that we want to do other applications and new features and benefits of this. Um, but I think the real power is going to come in about a year from two when we can do offline analysis of this data to identify new markers of distress and identify which uh, populations of our equine friends are at greatest risk. Yeah, it's awesome the way that it learns the horses. I mean, it's a great thing, and, and I, I appreciate what you've done. It's a service for the industry to, to have this available in the coming years. So thank you very much, Jeffrey, for joining us here with Report TV. I am Tuffy Owens.